Hi everyone and welcome back to Creating with Miss Nancy. Today Miss Nancy has five fall home decor DIYs that you can try right now using Dollar Tree items. As always, affordable and adorable and I think that is why I love her DIYs. And as always, I can never pick a favorite one. I don't know about you all, but I am so excited for fall. I love the colors and I cannot wait to go outside and just walk through all these neighborhoods, walk through the park and see the leaves turning red, yellow, orange. Honestly, I have been looking at fall photos all week long and just those beautiful fall colors always draw me in. But right now we are on to DIY number one. Miss Nancy has a very simple Dollar Tree doormat. It says gather here. Dollar Tree has a couple of these doormats, different styles, designs. You get the point. She chose this one. It's a rather simple one and it will not be used as a doormat. No siree. It is going to be used as a beautiful home decor piece that you can hang on your front door. So that's exactly where this piece is at right now. It's outside on the front door, but this is how you can do it. So right now, Miss Nancy is going to take the pumpkin, take this pumpkin wreath. All of this is from Dollar Tree right here. She's going to get a little, you can get a little marker, uh, you can get pencil, whatever works, as long as you can trace it and see the outline of what you are tracing, just like Miss Nancy is doing here. Look at that. Very simple, and all you're going to do is take your scissors and cut it out. Just cut it out, and well, after that, all you're going to do is glue it. So you can see right here, Miss Nancy is taking her hot glue gun, and she's going to glue the pumpkin to the doormat. Then she's also going to be adding some jute rope all the way around to outline it. Now this is going to give it a more finished look. I also love how it adds rustic, a little rustic look to it as well. We love rustic, we love farmhouse, we love vintage, yes. <laughs> but anyway, she's going to go ahead and just put it all the way around. Now you could, Say you get a different style doormat, you could go ahead and use some cotton cord if you would like, or you can use some, well, jute rope like Miss Nancy's using right here. And as always, I am going to be putting the links in the description of all the items, all the supplies that Miss Nancy uses that are her favorite crafting supplies, basically her go-to must-have crafting needs, because as crafters, you all know what I'm talking about. There are just certain supplies that you cannot live without. Miss Nancy's is definitely white chalk paint. That's right, Miss Nancy, I'm calling you out. You cannot live without your white chalk paint. She uses that so much. <laughs> but right here we have these little mini wooden logs, which you can find on Miss Nancy's Etsy shop, which I will also link below in the description. Now, I love these wooden logs because my goodness, don't these just add a feeling of nature and a little bit of rustic as well. She's going to be using this to make the stem of the pumpkin. You, obviously, you can see the stem right there. But this is going to, again, give it a more finished look by adding these. Maybe cover some imperfections as well, which is perfectly okay because we have the logs right here. And like I said, she has some wooden pieces on her Etsy shop right now available for you to DIY with. We also have some art kits and DIY crafting kits for fall and I love them. We're also, we also have these adorable clip art images that you can use for decoupaging and I mean for your tumblers, your t-shirt designs, whatever it is that you want to use them for. We have them out for fall and for Christmas coming soon, I'm always adding new inventory to the shop. It's just, it's a mess right now. It's just, and by it's a mess, I mean that it's a good mess. It's just constantly growing and I love it. It's brand new, so go check it out. I'll leave it down below. But anyway, I love that. Look at how good those logs look as the stem. My goodness. But we're not done. Oh, I know you thought we were done, but we are not finished yet. So right now, Miss Nancy has some more assorted wooden pieces, which are so adorable. These are also on her Etsy shop. My goodness, I love them. I love how many pieces comes with each of them too. It's very awesome to me. But right now, Miss Nancy's going to use these to decorate 
this pumpkin sign right here. All she's going to do is glue them. And yes, they stay. And right now, Miss Nancy's going to be taking out her fall florals that she bought at Dollar Tree. And she's going to simply glue them inside of the pumpkin. And my goodness, do they look really good. Yes, they do. And let's not forget the little pumpkins that she's going to glue here. You can glue whatever little accessories that you want, choose which florals you want. Just really get creative with it and have fun because that is the most important thing. Creating something that you love, that you want to see in your home. Right now we have Miss Nancy's zigzag bow, which is the easiest bow making method in the entire world. So right here, all you're going to do is, well, look at the video, look what Miss Nancy is doing right here. It is a zig and a zag, very simple method. And Miss Nancy created, well, Miss Nancy created Miss Nancy's zigzag bow for that very reason, so that anybody, so that you can make a bow so easily. Now I will be honest with you, I've always been jealous of these beautiful Christmas bows, these beautiful bows on gifts, and just beautiful bows on different home decor pieces in general, and I thought to myself, why can't I make a bow? And I tried, <laughs> I could never do it. I just never really figured out the quote unquote mechanics of the bow making until this, until now Miss Nancy made this easy bow method, and hey, it is adorable. The best part about this bow method though is that you can actually layer it, so you can add Take one ribbon, do the zigzag, take another one, do the zigzag on top, take another one, do zigzag on top, and then bunch it all together with some twine, a zip tie, you know, you get the, you get the gist of it. But I just, I love this method and it's super easy, you all, anybody can do it, anybody.
Of course, she did leave a little space in the twine, that way it can hang on the hook on the front door. But you all, this is it, and it is super beautiful. I love it. Let's go on to DIY number two. So right here for DIY number two, Miss Nancy has the word family and pumpkin spice for life. Now both of these pieces are from Dollar Tree, but the word family actually Miss Nancy, she decoupaged it with a pumpkin napkin that she bought at Hobby Lobby, I wanna say, but hey, fret not my friends, they actually have some pretty great fall napkins at Dollar Tree available right now. So you can easily decoupage yours if you want, or you could paint it, have a little fun, get creative that way. But right now, Miss Nancy's going to simply glue the word family to the pumpkin spice for life once it is glued. I mean, look at that. It looks so good already. Anyway, once that is glued on there, she is coming yet, she is bringing back yet again the wooden logs, and she is going to be making a little makeshift house just a tiny little house so i'll go ahead and let you all watch her do this and well while you guys are watching this i'm gonna go ahead and drink a pumpkin spice latte just kidding because i still haven't tried those yet but my goodness a brand new coffee shop opened up in my city and when i tell you it is the best coffee the best drinks i've ever had i am telling you I wish you all could come to my city <laughs> just to try it. Now Miss Nancy is wrapping some twine and adding a little glue as she goes. All right, now she's going to simply glue her little makeshift house onto the wooden piece. Add some florals because what's a home decor piece without some florals, am I right?
Okay, you all, we are on to DIY number three. Miss Nancy has these garland lights, these leaf garland lights from Hobby Lobby. She has these two bowls from Dollar Tree. Now, I have to tell you all something. So basically, we went to Joanne Fabrics. I absolutely love that store. So while we were there, well, we saw these glass pumpkins with lights inside of them, and it just looked so adorable. So right now, Miss Nancy is kind of making the same thing, but her own version <laughs> with um, a Dollar Tree with Dollar Tree bowls. So just just stay tuned. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So let's see what she does. Right now, Miss Nancy is simply going to place all of the leaf garland lights into the bowl to bowl number one. Then she's going to glue some of that to bowl number two. That way it looks a little more full here. So once the lights are glued around the rims, they're glued inside, Miss Nancy's going to take some jute rope. Miss Nancy is going to take these beautiful wooden logs yet again, adding them on top as a stem for the quote unquote pumpkin here. Then she's going to come in with some jute rope, adding some leaves, you know, getting a little bit creative, adorning them with different little, little things. And well, that is it. And that is it for that DIY. She basically made a pumpkin. It is a pumpkin with lights inside of it. <laughs> this is Miss Nancy's pumpkin. It is so adorable. I love it. And there's my dog. I think she loves it too. This is Alaska, she's only four, the most beautiful Labrador Retriever ever, with the cutest little pink nose. She's the best, you all. If you don't have a dog, get one. <laughs> she's just so cute. But 
She is bad though, sometimes. She eats Miss Nancy's crafts sometimes, so you gotta be careful where you leave them. <laughs> she will, she will get to them somehow, some way. She's too smart for her own good, she really is. But these are Miss Nancy's DIYs, the pumpkin, the fall, the family. Just so adorable, we love it. Okay, you all, so for DIY number four, Miss Nancy has a pine cone and an acorn from Dollar Tree. Now, Miss Nancy painted it over with white chalk paint. Now, I love white chalk paint because it adheres to almost any surface and it dries pretty quickly. So once that is painted, once it is dry, she's simply going to come in with some twine right here. And you can see her wrapping it around the acorn. And I absolutely love this because it looks so rustic my goodness
And she also did add little a little spruce of some antiquing wax just to add a little texture, a little contrast to the white. And this is it. This is exactly what it looks like. It is done, super easy. I absolutely love it. Now these would be perfect on a tier tray. And speaking of tier trays, Miss Nancy does have a tier tray, or I should say some tier trays in her Etsy shop right now. And these tier trays are perfectly customizable. They are ready for you to come in and paint or decoupage. And I love tier trays because they are for literally every season, any occasion, all you have to do is change out the decor pieces that you place on the tier tray and that's it. So these are the perfect size for that. Aren't they so cute? They really are. Okay, you all, here is a little bonus video. Miss Nancy made a quote-unquote watermelon cake. I like to call it fruit cake, but maybe watermelon cake is the better, the better title, <laughs> the better word for it. But anyway, Miss Nancy is going to show you all how to do it. And we actually, Miss Nancy made this for Labor Day, and it was just a hit. It was gone within 30 minutes. Yes, I'm ashamed to say that, but it was gone. <laughs> Anyway, Miss Nancy has some strawberries, some blueberries, and of course, a, a watermelon. I'm kidding, watermelon. <laughs> so right here, she is going to take the watermelon, cut off both ends of the watermelon. Then she's going to cut right in the middle, and you will see what she, well, you'll see. You have eyes. We'll watch it together, but right here, Miss Nancy also has some toothpicks. Definitely going to need those. All right, so place your big greenie right on the cutting board and slice away, my crafting friends. Slice away. Okay, so now she has sliced in the middle. She's going to cut off all of the green, trying to make it straight. And it's okay if yours is not perfect. Maybe it's a little uneven. It's all right. But you can aim for perfection if you would like to. You can, but I'm just trying to say don't worry if you don't. It's still going to look great and taste great. To be honest with you, we weren't really worried about making it perfect. We were mainly worried about just making sure that all the food was done in time, you know, for us all to eat together. So <laughs> we weren't really worried about the perfect part. We just kind of said, let's go. We got to do this. We have to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness, but it's fine. I do want to say that you want the top to be flat, okay? Try to make it as evenly flat as you can. Because the other half of this watermelon, you're going to place it on top. It's going to be a little two-tier watermelon cake. And right here, Miss Nancy is making a little design with strawberries, creating little flowers. That is just so edible. <laughs> I was gonna say adorable, but I said edible on purpose because it is edible. It looks great. And now Miss Nancy's going to be using some of the watermelon yet again to make some little green stems coming out of the top of it. All you have to do is just make a little hole, make a little incision. And then you can fill your blueberries all around the tray that you place it in. And that's it! Does that not look so good? I really miss this. I need to make this again. I need Miss Nancy to make this again. And 
This time I'm going to eat it slower. <laughs> I love it. But anyway, you all, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed all of Miss Nancy's DIYs, including her quote unquote fifth DIY, which is this bonus video of the watermelon cake. But I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, do not forget to like, to subscribe, and to most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified every single time Miss Nancy comes to you with a brand new DIY video. And we will see you all next time where we love inspiring you all to create a memorable home on a budget. <laughs>